Hey guys, in this video, I will demonstrate how to import fabrics and texture map into Close 3D. Additionally, I will be providing you with free fabric and texture map so you can practice that on your garment. You can find the download link below the video description. Okay, let's get started. So before we go any further guys, this is the 100% free fabric texture and texture map that I have at the link under the video. And over here, I have the blog where you can learn more about texture map. For example, alpha map is creating transparency. However though, alpha map also known as transparency map, okay? And right here, base map, it's also known as the fabric texture where when you create any texture in Photoshop and you bring it in, that is the base map. Okay, and if I scroll down here, we see more texture map listed and explain the detail and what used for in your 3D design. Okay, so now let's cut to Clo and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm here in Clo to apply the fabric texture and the base map onto a garment. First, we will bring the fabric into the library. Simply go to the library tab and then click on the plus sign and then navigate to my fabric. So be sure you unzip the folder first before you can bring it in. Then click on that fabric folder and then click on open. Next, we want to double click on that fabric folder here in the library. And first I wanna point out right here, this is a fabric swatch that came with the folder, okay? And right here, I'm going to double click on the fabric folder to open and double click on again. And now we see all the fabric texture. And first of all, guys, this is the base map which is also known as a texture fabric okay so we want to simply click and drag that one onto the garment okay and by default i have texture and then click on okay here which is perfect let me zoom in a little first of all when i apply this fabric on to the blazer we have this default color which is pink okay we can go in and change the color later if we want or leave it pink because that is kind of cute so next we can change this texture to a little bit bigger if we want to simply use this texture tool here in the 3d toolbar click on it then click one on that fabric there and then come to the gizmo click and then drag it outward to scale it out to make it bigger okay and let's say I'm happy with that texture, then I can actually switch the tool to the select slash move tool to get out that texture tool. Okay, so next we want to do a couple more things here. Next, we want to apply that texture map onto the fabric so we will have this realistic look, okay? To do so, come over here to this object browser and click on this fabric that we use to apply onto this garment. And then come down here under property editor. Let's scroll it down here. So we already take care of this texture map and we use that base map to apply onto that and now we're going to scroll down here we want to apply normal map and so on so now i'm going to come over here and then hover the mouse over that icon there and this is normal map so n or m that's normal map i'm going to click drag and then drop onto that normal map there okay then i'm going to scroll down here now we see displacement map i'm going to come over here and then find that displacement map which is right here so DISP, click, drag, and drop onto that displacement map. And I'm going to keep scrolling down. We want to apply opacity map. So alpha map also known as opacity map. So I'm going to simply find the alpha map. So alpha map, so right here. Alpha, so AL, perfect. Click and then drag onto that opacity map. Then I'm going to continue to scroll down here. Next, we want to apply the roughness map. Simply find the roughness map, which is right here. Click, drag, and drop onto that. And lastly, we want to apply metalness map. Simply click on this map right here and then drag and drop onto metalness map. Next, let's simulate the garment. I'm going to the key, select, and then strengthen. And let's simulate and then stop the simulation and unstrengthen. And now we get to see the realisticness of the fabric on to this blazer okay so first of all guys we apply all the texture map and now we have some issue here so a garment here a suit fabric it shouldn't be transparent so we're going to go in and try to fix that simply come over here to the fabric once again and then come down here we want to go to transparency which is this map right here we want to change that from 
RGB to alpha. Okay, so now the problem is fixed. So as you can see right here, now we have the beautiful blazer. Apply it with this appropriate houndstooth pattern fabrics. Okay, then you have design this jar. As you can see right here, we apply the fabric texture as well as the texture map onto this fabric and make this blazer look realistic and beautiful. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And don't forget to go down there and download the fabric texture for free, guys. And as well as read more about the six fabric texture blog that I have listed under the video description. And leave me a comment if you guys have any question or more suggestion about making a video in the future. I love to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys.